All right, it's the Ting in your Tang Tang game. College game day headed to Lawrence as well as TCU, the seven-point favorite facing off against Kansas. Let's go Pete Bill Reese. Well, I certainly have uh, picked against Kansas plenty enough to have been burnt by it. I am excited to uh, to head to Lawrence uh, this this week. By the time our listeners uh, have this podcast, we will uh, we will likely have gained three pounds from all the ribs that we uh, that we plan on digesting while we're uh, while we're there. Bill, open to suggestions if you have any uh, oh, for have that. One. Okay, good, good. We are we are certainly. There's one thing that aligns Reese and I is that our, our love of large amounts of meat uh, being served on large platters. So Mm -hmm. we are, uh, we are wide open to suggestions. I am not wide open to the idea of Kansas winning this game. I think TCU is going to come in. I think they're going to flash their speed. I think Kansas is really going to struggle with that. And I think they, they run that a little bit of the three, three, five, that's going to be designed to, to, to slow down the, the run option of Daniels. And I think they're just going to, you know, have a superior athlete and the ability. Max Duggan has been, you know, look, Jalen Daniels should be in the Heisman conversation. If Max Duggan lights it up on Saturday, I think he's <laughs> got to insert himself in there at some point. I mean, his numbers are preposterous. So um, I, I just like the overall general skill of, of where TCU is is better. And I think we did see a little bit of what the Kansas offense could struggle with when they face sort of a a, a, a higher end defense. Yeah, I I mean Max Duggan right now third in total QBR, like seventy five percent completion rate. It's been pretty crazy. I I do feel pretty good about TCU. I don't want to overreact to last week because we might just find out that OU is just not very good defensively. They kind of threw us off the scent a little bit in those first three weeks, but two straight uh, weeks of getting torched by pretty different offenses, and and I'm trying not to overreact. I, I can't help but overreact to the speed we saw in that game. Um, they've got a ton of it, and it makes last year's struggles a little more inexplicable, to be honest. But um, I, I just th- this is the most explosive offense in the country right now. I assume that makes a difference. Um, Kansas, I th- like I, this has been a really fun story to to write. And I mean, obviously they're they're just about a shirt of a bowl game at this point, and and things are going to keep uh, cruising along, but. You know, I can't, I'm struggling to get past the fact that, you know, in my SP plus rankings, they've faced two good offenses or two top 50 offenses, and they've allowed 38 points a game. They've faced one top 60 defense and they scored 14 points. Um, So it, it, it feels like this comes crashing down at some point. If if TCU stays hot, then it'll probably be this week. And and I'm going to cover, I'm going to pick TCU to cover. I will say this is a Sunny Dykes team. And at some point we might be talking about the Sonny Dykes fade again, because uh, he's kind of ha- he had a history of that at Cal and, and SMU and whatnot. But I mean, it's really, it's hard to anticipate that one coming with as good as they look last week. So I'm going TCU. Bill, it's funny. Great minds. I brought up the fade on Wednesday on the podcast, losing four or five, three or five, three or five, three or five, you know, in his time at SMU, it makes it sound like I think that he's not a good coach. I think he's a, I think he's an outstanding coach. And as for Max Duggan, that performance against Oklahoma, only two players in Big 12 history had 300 yards passing, three touchdowns, 100 yards on the ground, and two rushing touchdowns in a game. (laughs) Max Duggan and Jalen Hurts. That's it. Also consider that when college game day is present for a TCU game on campus, the Horned Frogs are 5-0, undefeated. Totally agree with you on all of the the numbers about the level of competition that Kansas has faced and the numbers that they put up against that type of competition and how their offense was slowed down by Iowa State. And all of that being said, Uh I suspect TCU will probably win the game, but there is no way, no way I'm not taking the Jayhawks and the seven at home. So I will take Kansas and the seven. I'll take the points. Home dogs by touchdown. Um, I like I like my odds there, even though I, I do think TCU is the superior team. I know Kansas is in uncharted territory. Uh, having game day there uh, for a first time can be a little much uh, for some programs, but I think life holds a pretty a steady influence on the group. I think Kansas is good. And as much as we can say Iowa State slowed them down, and they did, I like the fact that Kansas showed they can win a different kind of yeah. game. <clears throat> they they can win they can win a high scoring fast paced game and they can win fourteen eleven. So I'm going to take the Jayhawks and the points 